Well, hi everybody, my name is Sancher Haxley, and I'm going to be giving you a tour right now of all the Halloween stuff that they have. Um, First of all, here's the spider web. In case trick-or-treaters come to your house on Halloween night, you can just put this uh, spider webbing on your door, and, they, and, they were, and they will actually scream, you know, pretty cool, you know, so, I mean, I mean, pr I mean, pretty cool, you know, it says over two feet wide, really nice as well, so, you know. Really nice as well, too, you know. Um, anyways, they have these door knockers, a vampire here, a monster right here. Same thing. They kind of have also a skeleton right here. Yeah, a skeleton right there, and you can see, you can just put them on your door, your door, and when a trick-or-treater knocks on the door, they will not be surprised when they actually run away from you when you, uh, give them out, uh, candy corn or, like, candy for Halloween. So it's pretty cool. Um, um, what's also pretty cool is they have, um, Plastic uh, spiders, and you can see that there's both spiders right here. Um, looks like they're crawling, really nice. Uh, you can just toss these spider. You can just toss these spiders anywhere you want. They will just uh, they will uh, creep, you know, trick or treaters out very nicely. Dennis Holtz, you know. Um, really nice. Um, then we have the creepy cloth, so you can actually like decorate your house for Halloween, you know, season. And this Halloween season, a lot of people will want creepy cloth, you know, just for the look of it, you know. But anyways, um, looks pretty cool, and I really like it, you know. It'll, you know, creep out a lot of people, so it's pretty cool. Um, next we have some centerpieces that you can actually put on the table. On, on the table, and on the table, and they have different designs. First of all, they have a haunted house right here, and a spooky, like, you know, kind of looking tree right there. And, you know... I would actually never go into a haunted house because I actually don't want to know what's in it, so it's pretty cool anyways, you know, because I really like it, you know. Um, they also do have the spooky haunted, uh, roses, black roses right here, where you can just actually, uh, put these roses next to, like, a haunted house and you just say, um, you would just say, till death do us part, and you'd actually put it in a graveyard theme, and when Trick or Treater comes along, you know, um, they would just actually start... You could say, are you in for a, for a trick or a treat? And they would just, like, you just throw this, um, where they are at, and they would just be, like, they would be spooked out of, you know, they would be spooked out, you know. And it's pretty creepy. And it's pretty creepy, you know, because it has spiders right there. Very nicely done. Very nicely done as well, you know. Then we have the sill out cutouts, you know, the rats right here. The pumpkin and, like, uh, the spiders right there. Um, the owls right there, you know. Really, really cool. I really like these uh things, and with the bats as well, right here. So next, next to a window, so it's pretty cool. You could decorate your house with those as well too, if you wanted to, you know. Um, to show you even way more Halloween stuff, uh, uh, to show, to show you even way more. Here's some more of the stuff they have right here. They have the ghosts, the vampires, the tombstones that, with the Grim Reaper that say "Rest in Peace." Really cool with the skull and crossbones on them. Really nice. The snow globes with the black cats and like the pumpkins and kills are very nice, they're smiling. And also these uh, candy bowls, it's pretty cool, you know, with the skulls as well. And uh, stay tuned for more Halloween videos that will be coming up during the Halloween season that I will be making. And um, I'll see you all again soon, everyone. Bye-bye, everybody.